Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about function notation and actually how we can represent a function. Basically a function can be represented in different forms but in general function notation is a fancy way of representing y in terms of x. Let's look at one example. We have y equals to x cubed plus 1 and in terms of function notation we can write f of x equals to x cubed plus 1. So instead of y we have f of x and we can use any other letters that we want. For example we can say g of x, h of x, p of x, z of x and many many other forms. So now we know what is a function notation let's look at what is actually the benefit of this notation for functions with this fancy way of function notation and function writing we will be able to evaluate a function at any given x for example for the function of f of x equals to x cubed plus one we can evaluate it for any given value of x and here for example let's evaluate it for f of two and it's going to be instead of x we just plug in 2 so it's going to be 2 to the power of 3 plus 1 equals to 9. now let's look at some examples for function evaluation we have f of x equals to x to the power of 4 plus x squared plus s square root of x and the problem is asking for f at x equals to 4 and another one is asking for x minus 3. so the only thing that we have to do in here instead of x we need to plug in 4 so let's look at the first one so we have instead of x we will have a 4 so it's going to be 4 to the power of 4 plus 4 to the power of 2 plus a square root of x uh, which is a square root of 4 and then we will have 256 the first term plus 16 the second term and a square root of 4 is 2 which is the third term and the final answer is going to be 274. The other example, we have x minus 3 and we want to evaluate the function at x minus 3. So again, then the only thing that we have to do is just plug in x minus 3 instead of x. So it's going to be x minus 3 to the power of 4 plus x minus 3 to the power of 2 plus a square root of x minus 3. And in most cases in exams and assignments we will be asked for simplification so we have to provide the the most simplified version of this function so for x minus 3 we will have a minus b to the power of 4 for the first term and we have to use this algebraic equation therefore we will have x to the power of 4 minus 12 x cubed plus 54 x squared minus 108x plus 81 and for the second term which is x minus 3 s squared we have to use this algebraic equation therefore it's going to be x squared minus 6x plus 9 and the very last term is going to stay the same which is going to be s square root of x minus 3 and finally we have the final answer here which is x to the power of 4 minus 12 x cubed plus 55 x squared minus 114x plus 90 plus a square root of x minus 3. Now we know how we can evaluate the function at a specific point. Practice as much as you can and evaluate different functions at different given point to understand uh, what is the function evaluation and how helpful can be the, the function notation. Thanks for watching this video.